Hey, what is going on guys? Dylan here with Solo Cuts Landscaping and thank you for tuning in to another video here on the Solo Cuts Landscaping YouTube channel. I appreciate every single one of you guys that stop on by and share time with me here on the channel. Now, today's, well actually, tonight's video, uh, we, as you can see, we have snow system came through and we have some slick lots, but we're not going to be using the main salt spreader on the truck. We're going to try out this guy right here. <laughs> that is just a fertilizer spreader. It's not a salt spreader, that's a fertilizer spreader. We're gonna see how well this works out on salting my lots. So guys, stick around, stay tuned, enjoy this video. Let's get going. If you haven't followed along on this little journey I'm going on with um, getting into winter work and everything, and you saw my last video, I will leave a card up here in case you didn't on the situation we ran into um, with our main salt spreader. Um, kind of the dilemma on how we're actually not going to be doing as many sites as what I thought. Um, so I just have my two, but we have the opportunity as winter goes on to um, to salt more. You know, I networked with a few other people here in the area, but unfortunately um, for this small system that came through. These are the only two I'm going to be doing, which is right here at my shop, conveniently. We're going to be using the Echo RB60 broadcast spreader that is actually for fertilizer and seed. And we're going to see how well it does with bulk salt. Now, thing is, with bulk salt, it's not like throwing rock salt where that would probably handle it perfectly fine. When you get bulk salt, it's a little more powdery. Um, it packs down a lot more. So we're going to see how this thing works. So without further ado, we're going to get this loaded up and uh, we're going to see how well it works on hitting these two sites. And we're actually going to kind of time it just to see how long it takes me to hit these and um, we'll uh, we'll see how it goes and we'll follow up with you guys here at the end of the video Alrighty, so there you see we have a full hopper here. Um, we're gonna go ahead and walk it on out. Now, one of my lots is right there on the back side here, so we're gonna go ahead and set the camera up and uh, we're gonna get this thing to work and see how it goes. Real quick though, if you are new to the channel guys, be sure to smash that subscribe button and hit that bell so that way you get a notification every time I drop a video. So real quick, do me a favor, smash that subscribe button. I would greatly appreciate it. Also real quick, before we get started right now, drop a comment down below. Let me know how you think this is gonna work. Do you think it's gonna burn through the salt? Do you think it's actually gonna disperse it with how you know heavy and packed this is? I'm anxious to see how it works out, so drop a comment down below real quick and let me know what you think it's going to do. So if you guys can not see that shine, this is, this is icy, so definitely need to get it down and uh, we're going to put it on a little heavy because we're salting this in the middle of the night, um, just wanted to get a good jump on it so that way I don't really have to wake up super early in the morning, so we'll see how well this works.
van, so I don't know if you guys can see that or not, but it's actually working pretty darn good. I will say when at first I was like, you gotta be kidding me, it's gonna be too much weight for that auger to spin. But I just kept bumping and pushing, bumping and pushing, and eventually it kind of just hollows out that center to where everything just starts folding in. And then now we're to a point to where it's not too much weight for it. And it's actually spread in like pretty darn good. I'm kind of impressed. For just a seed spreader, you can't really beat it. All right, so as you can see, we've about burnt through a whole hopper, so I do say when it gets to be that low, you're having to shake it quite a bit, just because it'll spread it, and then it'll leave a gap to where not much is falling. So you just have to keep shaking it, but I'm saying though, it's actually working pretty darn good and getting good coverage. I like it. So real quick, what I'm gonna do though, is I'm gonna go ahead and refill this spreader, and then I'm gonna come back out, and we'll, uh, we'll finish the rest of this lot up. Here real quick, I'll show you guys what I'm talking about. See how it kind of hollows out that center there? Then it starts really flowing good. Now what I am gonna do, that stretch right there, um, cards, I've been hitting the spots that people park uh, pretty heavy just to make sure I get a good coverage. Um, so I'm gonna go back through there and then we'll be on to hitting the entranceways and the sidewalk and we'll be out of here. sidewalk and that will do it for this side. Alright so now I have maybe a quarter of the hopper left so I'm just going to run up by the building and in the parking spots just to clear it out and then we'll head on to our next site. So I just checked the camera and we've been here for a total of 22 minutes doing this site. Now, that includes me setting up the camera, moving the camera, um, that also includes going back into the shop, refilling and salting again. And like I said, we're putting on pretty heavy because um, we're doing this, I think it's, let's see here. We're doing this just before midnight, so I want to make sure it's on pretty thick because um, the temperature is going to continue to drop, but with how thick we put this on, we should be good. Um, for morning time because we're not supposed to get any more precipitation 
Um, so we should really be sitting pretty good. So there you go, 22 minutes. This is about a 10,000 to 1,100 square foot um, parking lot with a push spreader. Let's go hit the next one. Alrighty guys, so here you can see we're at our next one. Literally just on the other side of our shop here. Um, same thing, uh, this is, this stuff is slick. It's gonna freeze up. It's gonna be full black ice, basically. This is the same size lot. The only difference though is this one is long and narrow. The other one is kind of short and fat. So uh, same size lot, around 1,100 square foot. That one took us 22 minutes with moving the camera around and everything, so I expect this one to take about that. So, uh, so let's get the camera set up, let's get this one knocked out, and then we can kind of recap and see, uh, see what my thoughts are on this. So I was wondering why it wasn't going down or spreading very far. Well, I had the blocker down the whole time, so put on pretty thick on this side, but that's okay because that's kind of what we're doing. So, uh, so yeah, we're moving right along. Got a refill, uh, just got a little bit left, but I'm probably gonna fill it up halfway and then burn through that, hit the parking spots pretty heavy, and then that'll be it. So guys, there it is. We used the Echo RB60 broadcast spreader um, the whole night. And I mean, when I say the whole night, I mean for my two sites. There you saw it. It took us a total of 39 and a half minutes to hit both of these sites. Now, just to uh, kind of put that into perspective, between these two, that's $110 um, that I charged to salt these. So in 39 minutes, make $110. That's pretty darn good, especially when all I had to use was the broadcast better. Now, do I wish, you know, I could uh, I could use my, my main spreader? Absolutely. I wish we had more sites. Absolutely. But with the cars that have been dealt my way, um, this is the best option and this is what worked out best. Now, your question may be, Dylan, why didn't you just go ahead and uh, use your, your main spreader anyways? Well, if you can't tell, it's just one of me here, and I'm um, lifting up one of those trash cans full of salt to get into the, you know, into the bed of the truck to just spread salt. It's it's not gonna happen for one. And two, you know, not only would I, you know, say I did get the salt in there just for these two sites, then I'd have to worry about washing the truck down, washing the, the you know, the dump bed out, and all that jazz. So for when it's just something small like I'm doing here, this works just as good and actually it works out better because I don't have to worry about cleaning it. Now I did spray fluid film 
like on the auger, um, up on the, the you know the bearings and the axles and everything of this, just to help you know keep that corrosion down. So I did do that to help maintain uh, the spreader itself. But this just goes to show you that you don't have to spend a bunch of money to get your foot in the door to do some salt spreading. Because I'm telling you what, both of these are 10 to 11,000 square foot at each um, each site. We probably put down 180 to 200 pounds of salt. Um, for each one, so around 400 pounds of salt. You know, you can throw bags of rock salt in here and it worked just as fine. You know what I'm saying? So, so don't think you have to spend all that money. So, like I said, if you do not know the background story, if this is the first time you're checking in with us, um, I will leave a link down in the description below for you to check out uh, the video where I kind of explained um, what had happened and why we're not doing as much salting as we had planned to and what that whole scenario, how that all played out. So guys, there you have it. I was super impressed with this. Um, like I said, when it's fully loaded, it does take a little bit to work that salt um, to where it creates a little bit of void to where that salt really starts flowing. But once you do, I mean, it puts down a heck of a spread. And for this uh, spreader specifically, the RB60, I will also leave that link down in the description below. Um, but I had this wide open um, just because there's not much gap in the, you know, when it opens up because it is for seed and fertilizer. I just left it wide open. So that way when I pulled that handle, it was as much could come out as possible because if not you would really it just there wouldn't be enough room for it to go down guys that is it for this video let me know down in the comments below were you impressed with it did you think it was going to go that well what are your thoughts and opinions drop a comment down below but i do want to say in full disclosure um echo sent me this spreader at the beginning of the, uh, the 2020 spring season i am part of the uag program um, so they did send this for fertilization and um you know seed they did not send it for this this is not a video to push this spreader um this is just the only push spreader i have so uh i mean Pick your poison on spreaders, whatever. Um, but that I'm just saying, um, Echo did send this out, but this is nothing for me to push Echo because they actually have a salt spreader, a walk behind salt spreader um, for this application. So drop a comment down below if you would also like me to uh, try and get my hands on one of those salt spreaders. We can put it together, see how it works, and we kind of do a heads up battle between the RB60 and I think the other one's the RB100. Um, it's a 100 pound hopper. Maybe we can do a battle royale. And then we can see, you know, compare apples to apples if the price difference is worth it or if you can get by with something a little cheaper. So, like I said before, if you are new to the channel, be sure to smash the subscribe button and hit that bell so that way you get a notification every time I drop a video. And guys, as always, remember, do what you love, love what you do, but never, no, never stop. Guys, we will see you in the next one. Bye.